All right, we're going to be learning Black's Fork today. Uh, bluegrass tune written by Matt Flinner. It's a little bit on the crooked side, but we'll try to break it down in a way that makes sense. And he originally wrote this on the banjo, but then of course recorded it on mandolin on his album uh, View From Here, which is really excellent. And I'll be playing it on the fiddle today. That's going to buzz if I don't. Let's see here. Okay, here we go. <laughs> to get this tune in your head is, is learn really basic phrases. So what I'm going to do is leave out anticipations, leave out double stops, leave out um, even a lot of passing tones, and then we'll add them back in. So phrase one of the first part is going to be right on the downbeat. Then phrase two. Back to phrase one. bells and whistles here. So that first phrase again is and then the second phrase starts on the E again and then I'm going up to a C sharp in third position. I like to throw in the open E so I can shift without making a slide. something here. I do a hammer on going from B to C. Sharp. Then that first phrase again. And then here's it's a little bit crooked. together. One, two, three, four. first note with a hammer on as well. So we're adding two things, hammer on plus anticipation and a drone if you've uh, got the capabilities on the instrument. So that'll come in on beat four. One, two, three, four. And do it again on phrase two. And that one, I'm just going to add a couple passing tones into that first phrase. So. If you have a fiddle, uh, it's a nice way to like make a purposeful slide sound. And then same here, a couple pickup notes. So let's do that first part with adding those extra bits now.
variation in that ending. You can do a little triplet there. So the second time at the end of the A part, we're gonna add, there actually is an extra beat. Um, you don't really feel it on the fiddle as much or in the melody. So after the And that's gonna be an anticipation. So if I leave out the anticipation, it sounds like this. So we'll play it like that for now. Let me play the whole second part again, a little bit more simplified. Here's the pickups to that. This is the downbeat. Anticipations and a few more little passing tones in between the phrases. So getting into the second part. So those are the last couple beats of the second ending in the first part. And then the down beats on the F sharp. So one, two, three, four, one, two. And then that's another anticipation, so. And anticipate the ending, too. measures of the third part because it's kind of just a little rhythmic thing on the E chord. Um, I like to go something, you know, because um, that seems to work with the bow, okay? Um, you just want something that kind of accents one, two, three, four, one, and so the melody kind of has that accent written in on beat four of that first measure in the third part. to it. So scared but let me just show you the chord chart here there's a lot of six four measures there's even a two four measure at the end of the third part so take a look at that uh, and see if you can make some sense of it I'm sure there's a lot of different ways you could put those extra beats that's the way it uh, makes more sense actually that was the sloppier version of the chart here's a better one for you there you go all right, so shall we put the whole thing together just at a nice medium slow tempo? And if you need to play the basic version, that's okay. You can always add more things later, okay? And then if you listen to the recording of Matt and how he plays it live as well, he does a nice little intro, which um, kind of takes something from the second part. <laughs> the 
um, last little bit of the second part. And then he goes into the first part. Uh, but let's just start on the first part for now. One, two, go. 